Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me okay? Hey, my webcam is gone. There we go. Welcome to Super's Life, everybody. It's Friday. Everybody's tired for a heavy workload this week. It's time to do something fun. Let me know if the music is too loud, by the way. As usual, trying to find a good balance between it. Maybe some chill music will do the trick. Okay, cool. So today I want to start sculpting a monster, finally. Just have some fun, you guys. Oh cool, you guys cannot hear the music? That's okay then. I can turn up the volume a bit. Hey Neil. And as usual, if you have any questions, just type them, ask them. And I will try to answer them. Let me get set up here. Okay, I want to try to turn this sphere into this cool monster. It's a concept I found a long time ago. But I cannot remember the name of the artist. I will find it and post it later. He makes really cool concepts. So yeah, let's get started. Let's see if everybody, everything is working here. Seems so. Cool. Just working in symmetry now. Just pulling out the sphere, trying to create a bit of the body. And while I'm doing during that. Just see method. Have a little bit more polygons to work with. It's kind of a worm kind of creature. Really cool. The guy who drew this is called Tooth something. Try and get some shapes going. Fun. Creating something for yourself. You don't have to completely stick to the concept. Some own creativity, some own shapes in there. Let me try to get this microphone closer so you guys maybe you can hear me better then. Ooh, no, don't break it. Let's see, it's a bit of spine here. Thing he has no eyes, so that's one thing to not worry about. <laughs> thing to worry about is how would the inside of his mouth look like. We'll find that out during the sculpting, I guess. Just match it a bit. Or at least try and match it a bit, of course. Mm -hmm. This is scary a bit. I did some put on some sleep music, so if I fall asleep, you know why. Yeah, 
yeah, let's go think of some shapes of cells. Belly here. Somebody does remember the artist. Please shout them out. It's two of Y or something, I think. Love this word. A little bit of his head, I guess then. Back is pointing out, but not as much. Up here. The beetle. Of tail. Stingers. Only imagine if the insects really look like this in this big man. Would be a fun world then. I guess if you live in Australia, the insects do look like this. I like to work uh, not in perspective mode. If I sculpting, I turn it off, but when I look at it compared to the concept, I will put on the uh, perspective mode just a little bit to see if it matches a bit. The shapes are there. It's nice, it's nice and white. And again, if you have any questions, you can. This type. If you want to know something, just want to have a chat. I'm here. <coughs> it can be bigger. Really big. Mess it again. There's a nice topology. Subdivide it a bit and just starting to loosely sculpt some stuff in here to get a feeling. Oops, turn back face off. Mm -hmm. This is the protus here. This. Shoulder thingy here. This. Pull out these fangs from these shapes. Yeah, not there yet. Like three insect feet going out one here, and here. Like the stance of the concept, it's already aggressive. Trying to stay close to the concept, but let's see how it 
will you evolve during the night, day, where you guys at? I don't know. Where are you guys at? Let's get the chat going, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? Chicago, hey man, how are you doing? That's awesome. Argentina, ah, nice. Nice, nice. Chicago, that's awesome. That's awesome. So I used to be a Bulls fan back in the Michael Jordan era, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Mick. Yeah, I hope so. Be a hype for it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, just starting, starting sculpting, sculpting shapes, having fun. That's always my mantra for uh, for zebras. Have fun. Set balance crashing. Then you can scream at it and be angry at zebras. Um, going to let me think. Mm -hmm. Want to make the legs separate first? The claws, plug them in. Some shapes. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you doing? No way. Nice international crowd again. Love it. Do you guys also have this when you're sculpting? Sometimes you get some sort of. Yeah, I don't like to call it a weekend brain. Just wanders off and then you forgot what you were supposed to do. Having that a lot lately. So I'm really getting back into the seed press. Pressing a lot lately. It's fun. US Fuku. Ah, new TC brush, that's always the best. You can explore this awesome program. And if you have any questions, there's a great forum. You can ask here, you can ask everywhere. Seabrush community keeps on growing strong. Old school dynamasses together. I'm old school, so I can use dynamas still. <laughs> oh yeah, everything on the keyboard does something. <laughs> if you wonder this great interface you see here, how I made that. Well, I did not make it. Got it from Shane Olsen. He's also a streamer on here. And he teached me a bit the way of the stylistic sculpting. How well, he does it. He used to work for Disney. Yeah, it's the best UI. Wow, Ecuador. Nice, nice. What shortcuts are you using to access points inside the cylinder? What do you mean exactly? You mean the... Uh, I mean this that I've got here. 
with the bend curve. Paper, that's uh, W. Oh, I'm not in Disney. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the, uh, the guy I got this from, the UI, Shane Olsen, used to be working for Disney on Disney Infinity. One day Disney will come on my path. I can make something for Disney that will be very cool. Or we'll take Star Wars up. Why not? Star Wars stuff. Why not? <laughs> Nice cloth. Once it kind of reminds me of maybe StarCraft or something, I'm not sure. Uh, where are, where are I? Oh, sorry, my English uh, sometimes sucks on Friday. I'm working for myself, I'm a freelancer, but I'm working for a very cool company called Replica quite a while now really enjoy there but it's most of the time is it uh, realistic sculpting portraits uh, virtual influencers etc so it's nice to for example on friday just chill sculpt something cool for myself some monsters some stylistic stuff You guys know when it's done. I will print this, of course. Back in the day, I made some promises to you guys that I will share some STLs of other sculpts I made, like the Johnny Bravo. I will still do that. Working on the website for it, so to share my STLs. A cool one. Yes. Uh, no freelancing for all kind of companies. Started with modeling in Maya and now I'm moving a bit in Seabrush. Well, the biggest tip is have fun, right? <laughs> but yeah, I can understand sometimes it's hard. But, um, what I like to do is start in Seabrush even and sculpt away. And when you're happy, then you start retopoing in, for example, Maya or whatever program you want. Maya is still the most used software, I guess, for animation at studios. It also doesn't really matter anymore what you use. It's basically what you are most comfortable with and fast with. Back in the day, I started with uh, 3D Studio Max and I worked for uh, Arcfish stuff. So I made those huge billboards for architecture. Big hands back here. Oh, I have a YouTube channel, I think. Whoa, that's all. <laughs> it's really been a while when I logged on there. I've never worked with Nuke. No. Is it fun? <laughs> it's 
compositing, right? Nuke. No, I yeah, opened it once or twice. Yeah, we'll look into it one day again. Love exploring programs to see what I can do with them. So just curious, how many of you guys are into NFTs? Experience. It's, uh, it's really different. I like working for big and small companies. Uh, with the smaller companies, it's more of a, yeah, how do you call it? Uh, a relaxed feeling. Just having more fun. And I noticed the bigger companies are more fast paced. Just you have a producer and an art director and you go boom, boom, done, done, next, next, next. Yeah. Yeah, NFT is really interesting. Thanks, man. Yeah, the industry is it's a strange place. My best tip is to just get out there and show yourself on the social media. Uh, do some streams, maybe. Do some. Yeah. Set up your own Twitch channel. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have mobile games, I guess, then, right? Uh, I'm going to make the other back leg from the Z sphere. Why not? It's been a while that I used Z spheres. How do they work? Oh, yeah, this is kill. Oh, yeah, that's weird. This, I guess. Shape here. By the way, guys, if I sometimes when I'm sculpting, I'm talking to myself or start to mumble. Let me know if you cannot hear me, okay? <laughs> I always forget how powerful sea spears are. This bit of the shape, right? I can get away with this. Yes, streaming is a bit, I won't call it scary, but it's sometimes it feels you're just talking in the air, you know. And <laughs> Not sure if people like it or can use this. But do it a lot. It's kind of fun. I'm still trying to set up some uh, collab streams. Just that I'm streaming with another artist and we just talk among each other. It could be interesting. Sea spheres, yeah. Skin here. The big. Hello, hello. 
Oh, by the way, if you guys can spam your uh, our station or Instagrams in the chat, etc., I would love to uh, get in touch, follow each other, share tips, maybe some ideas. Maybe we can even sculpt together. Always interesting what other people are doing. I want to see if we match this. It's so high poly. There we go. Some of you guys sculpting along with me now. That would be great. Hey Christopher man, how are you doing? Welcome <laughs> to me trying to sculpt something. I had such a crazy day today also. So tired all day. It's really strange. I guess it's the weather. It's really sucky here in Holland at the moment. Lots of rain. Crazy rain. Oh, you know, for sure. Oh, I think the chat won't allow to... Doesn't show your uh, link to Instagram, I guess. Hey, Dopo. Yeah. That is going to be a fun one. I always feel a bit like, uh, what's his name? Ah, the heavy little tree guy. Saying, have fun so much. Quantum minis. I don't know. You can always check um, uh, zebraslife.com, the uh, calendar. He does some great stuff on show. <clears throat> Feeling I messed this leg up a bit. No, no. Let's spike some sort of hard shell here, so that's also pretty cool. Just getting some shapes in there. <laughs> it's like the girl, thank you. nails as well. I hope you see it a little bit better. Trim this here a bit. Music is still okay for you guys, no hard sounds. Hmm. 
Yeah, right? It's a cute beastie. Because you're from Australia, right? <laughs> and this, this is nothing. <laughs> Scotland, ah. Oh, you have the lock neck mo uh, the, the Nessie there, of course. How cool would that be? He, Nessie would just pop out for, up one day. Surprise! Wow, <laughs> I will burn my house down if this was a silverfish indeed. <laughs> Just killed one the other day. <laughs> Excuse me, coughing. The air call is going. Crazy here at the moment. Don't know why, because it's not that hot here. Sculpt some variation in the legs later, just place them. They're disgusting, right? The silverfish. Also so weird here where they, where they come from. That one. Yeah, super fast. You try to kill one, they go and they're gone. They will be gone. No. Yeah, that's it. I'm out. Bye bye. <laughs> Stupid silverfish. Give a bit of a belly here. Thanks again, guys, for. Watch me try to sculpt something. Yeah, he has six pack, you see that? And here it's a big belly. I guess he's full of whatever silverfish are eating. This is a concept I found quite a while ago on art station forgot the name of the artist I looked it up I think it's it's called why why something he makes a lot of cool stuff close really doof why maybe thank God I live in Holland we don't have really crazy big insects here. Thank the Lord for that. Because even a little spider can make me crazy if it has the last step. Yeah, uh, the name of the concept artist, I think it's. Too big. This is go to find it for you guys. It's of course a really good thing to know the artist too. Concept thing. No. 
maybe it's on the uh, there's a little autograph here if you can make sense of it let's see where is it oh too foo that's it Woo. Oh, it's nice. yeah, it's this guy. Look at this great stuff he makes. If you have time, check him out too, Woo. Yeah, he's so he's awesome. Big fan of his work. Yeah. Check him out on our station and give him a follow. I'm sure he will appreciate that. I see nothing too serious yet, just Trying stuff and look at stuff. I guess he has a bit of an animal anatomy. See, I was wandering off again. <laughs> Just thinking I have. I guess he also have. What's it called again with insect exo exoskeleton skeletons? Could be a bit hard, I can see. Are you guys sculpting? Thanks, man. Trying to get faster again. Oh. You guys have also a uh, Norton virus cannon. It's like it's all malware. It's always spamming me with stuff to scare me so they I can buy other things from them or something. Like now, oh, this is tracking you right now. You better buy this thing now from us. Protect yourself, otherwise you're not safe. Ah, it looks like a bit of a, a bodybuilder silverfish. This is Johnny Bravo silverfish. <laughs> Ooh, mama. I think we need to get this upper claw a bit bigger and stronger. There we go. Put that lower. I guess this part can be bigger. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, there we go. It also reminds you a bit of the. What's it called again? Damn it. From Stranger Things, the Demogorg. And also from Predator. <clears throat> Ooh, do you know if the 
GOZ plugin works with May Maya 2023. I think it should work. Are you using Maya 2023 already then? I'm always scared to upgrade to the latest version. I'm always one year behind with Maya. I guess it should work, yeah. Why not? Let's get the tank started. Yeah, I guess so. I think it should work. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Just trying different techniques in every part. Let's see if it works or not. Fingers, right? Oops. I had a problem on Supers last week. Couldn't decimate my skull. I think and Google that told me it's because I have poly pick. Well, that's weird. It should just decimate fine with poly paint on it. You can eat, there's even this option. Keep poly paint. Use and keep it. That's weird. I had some strange things with. Decimating sometimes as well. My zebras uh, is crashing. But that could be a pretty technical question. You can ask that when maybe Paul is streaming or Brami, Gabriel, or just type to him. Or make a ticket to zebras. They're very fast. You uh, Usually they're fast. Answering. Well, that's no problem. Yeah. I never encountered. Yeah, I had some problems with super stressing when I tried to decimate. Sometimes it just won't decimate. It's like any other software, sometimes it can be a bit buggy. I guess that's a challenge, right? Maya is crashing for like 10 times a day, you have a very good day. <laughs> Just trying to loosely sculpting the forms a bit. Just 
little bit of blobs here, a little bit of blobs there, little happy blob there. Oh yeah, save every time. Call it, I'm calling this one. A decimation is a way to, to uh, yeah, reduce your polygon size drastically for maybe quickly viewing in uh, yeah, yeah, what's it called again? In Unreal or something. Just get it to load for a retopo process. Sure about this fangs yet. I'm going to steal the uh, nails from this one. Don't forget to duplicate it. Well, I did, but apparently I did not. Hidden. Local symmetry. No, the chat is uh, sending me some congratulations because I reached 100 chat messages. But it's all because of you guys. Thank you. Keep them coming. <laughs> What a difference some fangs make, right? Instant scary. Instant burn it with fire. Kill it with fire, I guess, right? I'm old, so I forget the memes. And if you uh, seen the new Jurassic World yet? I'm really curious about that one. That's the original cast, so that could be fun. His name. <laughs> Dr. Ian Malcolm. Ooh. Yet original cast is in it. They know don't know if they play a real first role in there, but Dr. Alan Grant is back. Girl. Ow. I'm not sure it's all, yeah, if any day now it could be it will be out. At least here in 
in Holland. <laughs> these middle tanks are a bit. Oh man, this music. Scary. Next track. Still, the original Jurassic Park is, of course, the best ever. I mean, training raptors. Come on. <laughs> I also saw online somewhere that real raptors were the size of a chicken. They just made them this big for uh, the movie. Not not sure, of course, about that. It's a nice and pretty mouth to go out there. This one's bigger, wider. Getting there, right? It's getting there. This is a bit small for me still. Mm -hmm. Thick. Crazy muscles here. Bottom part can be slimmer, I guess. Belly. It's children. And if you guys watch the NFL, of NBA, NFL, etc. Yeah, the concept art is from Afghanistan. Yeah. Tufu. Amazing concept artist. My hand is a bit too small here still. This can be lower. No, this can be way bigger here. There we go. Nice muscle silver fist. Ah, cool, yeah. Nice insight, I say. So a raptor could be that huge. It wasn't just a, a Felis raptor, it is a small one. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Though. Oh. <laughs> Any suggestion for adding <laughs> what you said, salvia, which means uh, saliva, of course. Yes, all kind of way, for example. You could... Um, oh. For example, mask a bit of teeth here. Extract it. A big track, and then stop the fire a couple of times. Do a snake hook, stop this pro. Do 
of inflation here. Oh, of course, the subdivision levels. Pinching here. Saliva. <laughs> to keep that for later. Let's see what is missing. Muscular here. Muscles, I guess. Oh, which muscles? Mm -hmm. I don't like this part. The part of the tail. Oh, transparency. Yeah, the, in Seabrass it's, it's, it's doable, but only if you render it. I'll show you in a sec if I'm not forgetting it. Wrong here. Uh, Potato Man, are you modeling this in a pose or animation or just interesting angle? I guess interesting angle, Go just... Oh yeah, it, it could be animated, I guess. Okay. This is just for fun and maybe a 3D print. Just curious what kind of music do you guys like to listen to when you're sculpting or working? <clears throat> do you like it completely quiet?
Yeah, it's in here. Video painters. Yeah, in the PVM, plus you can render uh, transparency, I, I guess you can call it. Trying some things here to see how to look when I'm adding some kind of armor looking stuff. Kind of lacking this nice round shape here. I guess. Concept is from Tufu. Take them out an art station. Just going to shout them out a couple of times. Because he deserves. Bit of more shapes in here that the legs make sense. I think I'm going to keep the legs separate for now and just make sort of the crabs have a shell, maybe. On well, my art station link, uh, I don't think I can post links in the chat, but uh, in the chat, but if you search for my name, you can find my art station or Instagram. It's not updated, very. Good, look, yeah. We can get in touch there. You can always message me or have a chat. Maybe you have some ideas to bounce off. Maybe you want to sculpt together one day. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, this sort of gaming chair, I guess. Yeah, the leather is nice, but when it's summertime, it's not so nice anymore. It gets sticky uh, and hot. Hero. Did you tweet? Did you tag me in a tweet? Then I will respond to it. I'm not a big tweeter. If you tag me, you can have a look at it. Hmm. 
Ah. I'm liking it. It's going good. Not sure we'll be finishing this one tonight per se, but let's see. Still have LNG, so. I'm definitely going to finish this and print this. The spikes on his back, yeah, maybe either I make some and just place it on him, or you can just indeed do snake hook for quick consenting. If you can see, you can also they look like some sort of scales, you know. Also, maybe uh, make some points of a cylinder, some spikes, and place it on him and merge them in him and, and sculpt it like it's like it's supposed to be there. Makes sense. It didn't even think about it really that good, to be honest. You guys can hear this music, it's on Pretzel or something, it's a free service. Pretty good, it's okay, easy listening. Oh, that's not the book, uh, Nee 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 TV. Um, when you put the image in spotlight and you just try to smooth it, it won't work. Uh, that's because you have to turn off this and the brush, samples, spotlight projection. Okay, if I put it on, I cannot, cannot smooth it. But when I turn it off again, it can smooth. So it's not a bug, this is a feature. <laughs> Boom -boom -psh. How's the silhouette looking? Scary, right? <laughs> Love it. We don't have enough scary stuff in the world. Time to bring back the monsters. Good monster. Have you guys seen any good horror movies lately? It's been a while since I saw a really good one. I just watched this movie, uh, it's old, I think. Uh, it was with people on the beach that get older in, in minutes. Was it good, but also strange, it freaked me out a bit. Didn't like it. I did and I didn't. And of course I just watched Doctor Strange. Didn't like that too much. But didn't hate it either. I'm just trying to merge these in. Not like how not integrated in his mouth. There we go. Some tension there. Love and monsters. I don't think you mean the robot. It's 
spell again. Love, death, and robots or something. I haven't seen it yet. What's happening in his mouth? Let's make random stripes and it'll look cool. <laughs> more like muscle here. Like this is one big muscle. This one here. Holding it a bit so it's more integrated in each other. <laughs> oh, cool. Midsummer. Obviously, is that a cool one? Midsummer. I heard about it. Now you say it aloud. Ah, it's good to be sculpting again. What do you guys think? It's going to make his back more pinched. Heard about it for sure. What I'm going to do now is merge this. Let me see if I'm happy with it. Forearms, feeling them can be a bit bigger on mine. This is a bit more like more of muscular pose. Back a bit. It's nice and round. Need to get you. Also want to see the Candyman. Anti-man, okay, cool. Military. Oh, nice. Hi, I'm quite new to Zebras. I have a question. Should I use Dynamask Sculptors Pro just to do basic shapes and then Zebras? Yeah, that's a bit of the way I do it, uh, Mimi. Yeah, for sure. Make the arms even bigger now. Big enough. Yeah. I'm going to merge the forearms. I think I'm just saving one. Still calling this one. Let's merge this. And then I'm going to good old dynamize. So more power. There we go. 
Maybe we can get the details in better. The uh, see here. Good old damn standard. We also like to do sometimes just change mat caps during sculpting. Sometimes you get a hit, complete other feeling with your uh, monster project or what you're working on. Let's go with. Super Grey. Almost the same with this. Oh, the Jason Martin. Okay. This is this muscle that goes in here. I'm a shape shooter match. You can make a copy of your mess and make details with Sculptor's Pro. Yeah. That's right, Nini. it here a bit let's see what inflate give me here ah yes the nice big folds We're going to merge the fangs with the main body and integrate them more a bit. Would look way cooler then. But not the top parts, the teeth, I guess. It's hidden from that. It's hidden. Hey Patrick, thank you man. Just having fun as usual. How are you doing? I just saw that uh, season four of uh, Stranger Things just came out. Ooh, what kind of paladin girl? Do tell. Do show. Ah, 
Ah, I want to play World of Warcraft again. I love playing a paladin. Any of you guys still play World of Warcraft? Just curious. In a real life. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, controlled my life. It was fun though. Man, oh man. Awesome. There we go. Big fella. Shit in here. Yeah, love of death and robots is certainly cool. Only five years. <laughs> I played it since the beginning till last year, I think. Still kind of like it, World of Warcraft. Still a bit of a weak spot spot for it, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully, thinking back on the good old days. When it was hard. <laughs> and no, I'm streaming for an over just over an hour now. Really happy about this shoulder. Okay, time's too short to waste so many time on the shoulder piece. Yes. That's a big mouth. Frozen Throne and still my favorite expansion. God, I love that so much. And Illidan, of course. Ooh, I'm not prepared. Yeah, it became way too casual. Do some 
trim from the Nemec. Get some a harder look on his back. Really soft. More like an armor. Concept his armor really goes into flesh, it seems, not really like an actual skeleton. We could do that, of course. Oh, nice. That's awesome, man. These critters are... This is a close-up of a silverfish. <laughs> man. Just keep on, keep on going. Just keep on making cool stuff. Best when you just just sculpt. Yeah. Have fun. Don't be afraid that people won't like it or anything. Just make it for yourself. Like in this detail here, it's so really man. I might take this all the way and go sculpt really detail like in the next stream then. Take a lot of time, but really like the organic look and flashy feel. Yes, create some tension here. That's not there yet, but it's getting there. I'm from Holland. I guess so. Oh, we got a bot in here on the uh, YouTube channel. Crazy spam going on. Sometimes I just hate the internet. What happened? Go in there. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm going to just send a quick message to the uh, zebras guys. Maybe they can do something with that. I'm not sure. Weird. Set. I don't think it will do anything, but you never know. Yeah, that, that's a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, you should it. Don't click, click on those links. <laughs>
can't believe that there will be people that click on those links though. I think we have time for that. Your seed brushes. <laughs> Don't have time for those shenanigans. Thanks, man. I like this, I like this, I don't like this. Kind of maybe like a bull. Keep the muscle on the shoulder. Uh, I made the cloth teeth, yeah, the, the, the top parts, I mean, that was really easy, it's just a cylinder, a bit smaller maybe, longer, then I go here, taper it, I guess this is it. Tap it, make it a little damn curve maybe. Basically this. Oh, I like that one. Maybe a mix of predator and starship troopers, a predator worm, yeah. Yeah, let's call it that. A predator worm silverfish. Let's change med caps again. Ooh, I don't like that one. Mm. You see, use a nice red one. I cannot see it here. Oh boy, not that one. Plastic yellow. Why not? Oh no. Hurts my eyes. What's red satin do? Ooh. That's a good movie though, Starship Troopers. I really like that. Most definitely in spinal form then. Big shoulder muscles. That's really good movie. Now I want to see that movie again. I did scope the creatures one day of Starship Troopers, I have to find them. Remember they were pretty cool, this is way too big here. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, now we're talking. This shape's talking to me. What time is it? That is not the time today. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you want to get the tech legs in there as well. Not sure if I'm going to keep them separate or get them in as well. But for now, I keep them separated. Classy belly here. Get rid of that uh, C section scar here. <laughs> hey, Alex, <laughs> how are you doing, man? See here as well. You're doing good, man. Doing good, good, good. This stream really hyped me up again, finally. So much sculpting fun. Just sculpting. Sure, man. So are you uh, sculpting something, Alex? Sculpting a line, doing something cool, watching a movie. This is a bit of a weird part here. <laughs> Different bit of bodybuilder look. On the back. Tiny waist, big shoulders. sure if somebody is going to stream next after me but I don't think so let's see how long I can keep this going really liking this creature so far I guess we can consider this the concept sculpt a bit I like it so let's finish this. Don't think I can finish this in one stream. 
love to take this further and add the details. Spikes, for example. I'm liking this what you see here, it looks like a claw, but it's of course a spike. How cool would it to give this guy some uh, crap uh, crap pinch. Cool. Just thinking out loud. I'm liking this kind of stuff. Breaks the silhouette a bit. Just using the snake hook to get some spiky look to it. Ooh. And I had some sushi today, but doesn't uh well, thanks for joining man thanks for watching for sure keep an eye out for the next one we'll try and stream every week from now a lot of stuff cool projects to finish show you guys really like to take this one for example to, to complete process of printing it as big as we can make a nice little base for it looks like he has some sort of skill going on here concept that would be cool Go to the clay. Oh, let's reset it so we have the heart. Go back to him. That's the square again. Hey. How cool these standard brush is. Still a very good brush to use to add some blobs, for example. Can you go wrong with blobs? Shapes fit in there. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight. Was my Pentra back in the day. <laughs> when he used the lift. Heavyweight. Maybe with fixed skin we can make some cool armor looking. Never really used it. A bit bigger than that. Right, that it. I did it so often, and now I forget how you uh, can make some nice looking armor.
not really armor skills he made there, right? It's like integrated in his skin. Maybe that's a, something to think about for the next stream. How we get okay, there's no nice armor looking. Announcement? What kind of announcement, uh, Alex? <laughs> For this to go in game, yeah, I will just consider this uh, maybe a concept sculpt, so it will be high poly. And the topo will be uh, unusable for animation. Um, or the next next step could be maybe a Z mess, a quick UV master. To just check in a game. Or just slap on some quick textures. But yeah, after you make a high poly, it's usual. You can go make a low poly, for example, in uh, in Retopo in Maya or Topo Gun or whatever you use. UV it, bake the high poly on the low poly, texture it in substance, or use some poly paint. I do that as well. Yeah. Then it's basically in game. They deliver it and then a rigger will cuss you out because of he doesn't like the topology or uh, <laughs> or he does. Well, I did not really make an announcement or anything, just going to do it. I'm streaming almost every week now. And if I see I make a sculpt like this and I really like it, then I really want to finish it on the stream. But obviously, it's not going to happen in one stream. So maybe it will take a, a, two streams really finish this with the nice looking detail like you have here with the, uh, the all the flesh and the veins and the spikes yeah fridays is, seems to be an open spot so that's a good one but i will just have to check with Pix logic when they have time and otherwise I will stream it on my own Twitch. But I will finally use my Facebook and Instagram again then to announce it when I'm streaming, where I'm streaming. Getting the nails split from the legs, going to merge the back legs as well. Fighting it a bit just for fun to do. Integrate it nicely. Thanks for joining uh, Nini Nee TV. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Remember, uh, add me on Instagram or anything. Keep in touch. Just have to search for my name and you find me, I guess. Google me. So no complaints about the sound today. So that's a good thing. Fixed, fix something, I guess. Thanks, Daniel. Oh, 
search the legs. So now we can integrate them a bit better. Apply it, but delete it. Put it later again. Now I'm not sure if I want to. Yeah, I'm going to Dynamesh. I'm going to use good old Dynamesh again. Pretty high, no blur. Count. Did it die? Yeah, it did. Not liking it so far. So I'm still in, in dynamis mode. I'm getting to the point where I maybe start this. And then work with subdivisions. Find. Need to integrate it a bit better. <laughs> Thanks, old dirty wizard. I like. I love your name. <laughs> Man, I wish I could play some Wu Tang on the, uh, the stream. I guess YouTube will not like that. Ah, the bot's back on YouTube. As before, don't click it, boys. It's not real. There's nothing you can do about it, right? Ah, man, thank you, man. Andre is the best name. <laughs> so, where are you from, uh, Andre? <laughs> hey, Vicky! <laughs> How are you doing? Hope you're safe in the crazy stuff going on in your country. One stupid mistake I did uh, when I see remast, I have poly paint on, so I lost some poly groups. Ah, uh, I wish I was in Ecuador. The weather's so sucky here at the moment. <laughs> hey man. Entertainment jerk. <laughs> Congratulations on installing zebras. Now enjoy it. Welcome to the dark side. In my eyes, the best program in the world. Thanks, man. Doing my best. Just getting back into the groove. Nice to sculpt some organic creature monster design thingy. Oh, you're sculpting something, Figgy. 
still here. Still have to share my some brushes with you, right? I promise that. Uh, my art station, yeah, just just my name, Andre Ferveda. Like in the stream, you can see just below. You can also search me on Instagram. Just follow me and I'll follow you back and we can keep in touch and share some awesome sculpts, some ideas, some tips, tips, tricks. What is music? I have a lot of work, yeah, I noticed. Uh, Instagram is also just uh, my name. <laughs> Let me just Instagram. I don't know, cookies. This is my uh, Instagram that I really need to update. Ah. Just Instagram.com. Andre Ferreira. Thanks, man. Yeah. Zombie Hulk is really, it's really super cool project to do. What is this music? Like this here. Thanks, man. Yeah, there's some cool, cool projects on my Instagram for sure. But as I said, I really need to update it. I made a lot of cool stuff during the years. But I really have to share with the world. I'm not a big social media user. Oh, for sure, man. I will follow you back on Instagram and hit me up. I just love to see your stuff. Maybe can help you with some tips and tricks. Maybe some ideas. Happy to do that. There's also another streamer, uh, Spicer, who does critiques live on Seeper's Life. Maybe that's an idea as well. Love to get some, give some feedback. I need it. Yeah, what a dirty creature is. I love it. Just going to add a little bit of detail to the back legs, and then I'm afraid I have to go. Not yet. Oh, you can use them together, blender and zebras. <laughs> Sometimes I'm using Maya Blender, Zebras, all kind of programs together, and then I'm, all my shortcuts get mixed up. Just play in your head, for sure. Let me get this a bit 
thinner, thinner here, with more tension. And this one is liking it. This one's kind of nice. Oh yeah, for sure. Just keep on doing it. Keep, uh, watch uh, YouTube tutorials. Uh, so, so this guy, uh, oh, I always forget his name. He's really good in explaining stuff. Also a streamer, Michael Pavlovich, I think he's called. Okay, we'll get this YouTube in a sec. It's really f good to fun to watch him sculpt and do things just a second Think of some parts here figure out here surface detail here Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll look some uh... Ah, the, the bots are back again Don't click on it I send a message to the uh, guys from uh, Pixelogic, uh, from Seabrest. Maxon, of course, now it is. I cannot keep, get used to it yet. Just messing that up. Some ideas for the lab. Shapes, nice happy little shapes in here. Yeah, that, that will be my next uh, stream. I'm going to have a think about it, some testing maybe. And I will let you guys know for sure how I'm going to do those spikes. I think it will be a combination with snake hook for sure. I'll just make some. Uh... Oh, you did! Oh, I'd love to see it, Nelson. Nelson uh, just said he made this, this sculpted this creature as well. Is it somewhere I can see it, man? Steal some ideas from you. <laughs> hey, thanks, Alex. Speak to you on Monday, I guess. <laughs> okay, is it somewhere? Or is it an old sculpt that you never uh, finished? It's in the in the folder sculpts like I have. <laughs> One day I will finish it. Uh, I did the last Friday and this Friday. I'm going to, maybe I can do it every Friday. I used to be doing it on Wednesday, but I now have on Wednesday some other stream things. But yeah, Friday is a cool day to stream. Nice before the weekend. Just have fun, just sit down. Haha. <laughs> You uh, sculpt yourself, uh, right? Maybe we can do a stream together one day. A beer o'clock next next stream. Am I allowed to drink beer on the stream? Hmm, have to ask them. Nowadays, you never know. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I guess for this, the main shapes are here. The, well, you see how small my back legs are and how big he is. Yeah, what's your uh, streaming platform, Ray? Ray, sorry. Wow, man. It's late. Tender here. Sleep well, man. Thanks for joining and watching. Yeah, I sure will. And I'm maybe only sculpting on streaming on this, so even watch it live. I know I hate it in the back legs. Let's redo that. <laughs> and no one else. Now, do you have Instagram maybe? Instagram. Maybe on Facebook, can we find you on Facebook? <laughs> Murdoch, yeah. Blender can do everything, right? <laughs> I love those memes that go around with the uh, Blender stuff. Blender can do it too. Maybe even better, yeah. Yeah, for sure, Blender is powerful. Sure. Hmm, not liking my back legs now anymore. Like them again a bit. Well, you can uh, maybe you can send it over as a personal message. Or you can email at me, maybe. Nelson, you can share my email address. Stupid Cintiq, it's way too big. You can see this, Nelson. This is my email. Send it here if you like. I can share, share it on my screen. I will show it. To everybody. Can you see? Let me know when you send it, I don't know. Yeah, this is going okay. I like it. Let's hope this pops a bit. Now I make this, make this, oh, yeah. um, do the Photoshop, oh, my font and windows got messed up.
Just sick hoping to call the shop back and down. Send it over to See this better? Nice man. Is it uh, now better maybe, uh, Nelson? Just want to see yours version of it. Sweet. Let me know when you send it. I'll be sure. I'm liking this for a as it's going now. Test potential. Russell Silverfish. Still some shapes that needs improvement. I made the mouth way too big now. Still that can be a bit more wider. Okay, yeah, we're going to figure out next stream what this all uh, all about. Here it could be scales or something, that could be cool. Just sort of. I think we'll do that. It's got sort of scaling on his back. And it goes to flashy here. I want to make his legs like crab legs. Ah, uh, Nelson sent it to me. Ah, oh, sweet dude. Let me save it. Come on, man, it's not junk. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. This is what Nelson did with it so far. It's amazing, man. I love it. Here. Like this idea as well, how you created this. Nice man. Really, really cool. Exactly. It's really cool. Stick as well. Splitting the muscles. Also, how compact it is and how big here, like this as well. Really cool. Good job. Love it. Love it. Yeah. But we are always in blocking phase, right? <laughs> really cool. I like how you did the legs as well, like the shapes in here. This, uh, this is more nice, really cool. <laughs> it's fun to sculpt this, right? Really cool. Yeah, 
yellow bears the same idea you see <laughs> like that you make your legs a bit thicker than mine mine are too skinny to see multiple versions. Very cool. Yeah, I'm going to uh, continue this on next stream. It's getting a bit late here. Dark, have to walk home still. Um, yeah, keep an eye on my Instagram and Facebook, etc. I will announce when I continue on this one. I'm not sure it will be on, on uh, this stream or my own. Oh, good one. <laughs> oh, I rest too much. I need to. Sculpt all day and all night. Figure here. I cannot stop anymore. Thanks for watching, guys. See you the, until the next stream. Keep an eye out on all social media to get an update on this one. Let's finish this. Did you print it? Oh, this is a zebras, Russell. Check it out, zebras. Have a great night, see you in a bit.